Yeah. He's live. Well, the camera's pointed at me for a change. <laughs> Anyhow, it's Friday Night Flies. What do we got? October 10th? Yes. And uh, it's a pretty important time of the year for us fly fishermen and spin fishermen. Coho salmon have made their way up the Fraser River and into the Lillooet system. And we're pretty excited to do a little fly fishing for them. I've got uh, dug out the old spay rod and Scott and Scott. Both Scots have been out doing their damage and I haven't had a chance to get out there myself, but uh, here in the next day or two, I'll be out doing it myself and figured I'd share a few little secrets with you guys with uh, with some jigs that I throw with my spay rod. I mean, the lower Lillooet system is a, a pretty good place because uh, we get northern coho, which get up to about 25 pounds. So they're, they're really big coho. Um, down in the lower mainland there, I think they get the smaller ones. So eat your heart out, boys. We'll share some pictures with you later. And uh, anyhow, the season's just getting started. So we're going to show you a few tricks here. If you want to take the camera down there, Scotty boy. Yeah, uh, there we are. We're down. Yeah. As you can see, I've used a yellow jig head. That's a quarter ounce. You can get away with uh, an eighth ounce, depending on what size of rod you're using. Uh, you'll find that a uh, quarter ounce is going to put you right about the money. If you find that it's hooking up on the bottom a little too much, cut her back a little bit and go to one eighth ounce. Anyhow, this is a really simple, simple pattern to use and tie. We've got them here at the Sport Shop in Pemberton at 1380 Birch Street in downtown Pemberton at Spud Valley Sporting Goods. All I'm using here simply is just UV chenille. Um, product, that's just one of them. This is the pearl, which is in the back here. I thought it was silver, but it's pearl. But you can see UV polar chenille. Really Deadly get stuff. Fantastic stuff, right? Well, you can get it at the sport shop too. So if you don't want to tie the jigs, or if you want to tie the jigs yourself, fly out of it. They're pretty simple. But anyhow, we're going to get started on it. I'm going to re remove this beautiful coho jig. Chuck them on our spay rods. Pretty simple. Just get the line out there, bang the bottom, bring her back in, and you'll find most of the time they hit it on the swing, which is really easy. I'm not going to waste too much time tying this pattern tonight, as you'll see. Hopefully, I don't uh, pull a Scotty and break my line twice and curse and swear too much. <laughs> it's too bad you guys can't see the look he's giving me right now. But pretty straightforward. <laughs> Usually, I uh, cut about three inches or so for your tail end. Long chenille. You'll find it makes a better body for the coho flies. Trout, I like to use a medium chenille. It kind of gives a little bit slender profile, a little easier. And it's not such a mouthful for them either. But uh, it, if you fish the lower little, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's pretty murky. You want to get their attention with big flies. Even if you're trying more traditional flies, you'll be using the bigger varieties. Yeah, and go a little darker. And darker. Like I, I like hot colors myself. But uh, your traditional black and purples and stuff like that and blues, they work really well. But I, uh, visibility is always an issue for, uh, for myself. So I kind of like to see where my fly is. And I figure if I can see it, they can see it. So I usually go with the bright colors. But as you can see, you kind of, as you're wrapping it, you have to pull it back a bit or it will wrap on itself. You kind of want, you want it to be as long out the back as you can and not, trap it too too much like the i'm not going to go too too crazy going up the front here right you can double up on it a little bit if you need to yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. you want to fill it out as much as you can so at that point i'll just hold it back bring it around you're not building a piano so if you want to spend the time making your ties and everything look fancy pantsy you can but uh, I like just whipping it off quick, and I've got a little bit too much length on my bobbin here. Because they hang on the bottom, don't they, Brad? Well, you know what? The nice thing about a jig, a jig head is that it actually sits on the back of the hook, not on the – the hook is pointing in the air. So they don't bang and hook up as bad as you would think they would. Uh, but uh, these actually work pretty good. I use them for coho. I use them for – Steelhead, I use them for pretty well any of the big varieties of fish that like to fight and do acrobats. Whenever I start pulling out my spay rod, a lot of guys use intruders and 
lot of your typical flies, but I don't really have the time or am I willing to spend half an hour to 40 minutes to tie a fly. I just want to get it done and get my butt out there and go and catch them. So with these jig heads, I mean, once you get in the groove and you got everything already set up, it really only takes a few minutes, maybe three minutes, four minutes. I like to stack a few different colors. You don't need to get too crazy. You want to just kind of break it up, break up the pattern. And you can mix it up too. Like uh, one of the other patterns that I tied earlier tonight before uh, I turned the camera on, I was using uh, green in the back end and finishing it off with the uh, curl at the head with a little bit of the uh, orange in the middle or the fuchsia is the actual correct color that I'm using here. I like hot oranges, fuchsia is good, but uh, with it being as murky as it is, I'm going to go with the uh, chartreuse. I haven't tried it yet, but as time goes by, you get a few different color patterns and you'll find out which one they're liking the most. But I've had good luck with these in the past, this color arrangement. So I'm going to stick with this one. And hopefully it pays off. We're almost there. What do we have for time so far there, Sky? You were 15 Sorry. minutes and 25 seconds. Well, it was about 10 minutes of BS at the beginning there. Yeah, we go a little bit slower on the camera so that everything's kind of clear. And Well, if this fly took me 15 minutes, it would probably take me about an hour then to tie an intruder. That's probably why I don't time too much. I'm teasing. I don't think it's 15 minutes. I, was just made, I just made something up. Oh, you rotten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't even really need to uh, cut these off too short. You'll see the more you leave in the fly, the fuller it makes it, which is pretty easy. And... Uh, I don't have time to throw a whip finish, so I just usually throw a couple half hitches over it, and then once I've got about four or five of them tied, I'll put a little head cement on them. But as you can see, that's a pretty pretty simple pattern to tie. I'll roll it over here for you guys to have a quick look. Yeah. But it's a pretty simple pattern, chartreuse. I use a UV thread as well, so everything that's on this fly is UV. It really pops in the light, and... Uh, I don't know if you guys, have you guys got a UV torch here at all? Yes. It's in that box. It's in this box. And I'm sure everybody's well aware of these. Uh, yeah, you can see the thing really pops along with my gold tooth. But you can see that's what the fish are seeing. That really, that's what they see as a UV. So, I mean, that mother of pearl doesn't really pop as well, but it's more just body. So, anyhow, I'll roll it over and you can have a quick look at it. Boys, you got a great show coming for you this afternoon. Are we going back up the top here? Boys, you got a great show going this weekend. I'm going to show you a few recipes for the weekend. And stay tuned. We'll have uh, another show here in what, about two seconds. Scotty, yeah, Boulder's going to be here. And that's it. This poor coho can't swim by that without putting their mouth on it. Fair warning, coho. Here we go. Back at you.